we're not sure if we can do it, uh, but we're going to give it a good shot. Well, guys, we made it to park number four of Utah's Mighty Five National Parks. We're at Zion National Park. We're going to be here for two days. Today, the plan is to hike to the top of Angel's Landing. Angel's Landing. And then tomorrow, we're going to take on the Narrows. But for now, we need to get on up to the top before we chicken out and head back down. Let's go. Let's go. behind us the scariest part the scary part <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna see what we can do let's go let's go <laughs>
Well guys, we made it to the top of Angel's Landing and it was a little scary, but not, not nearly as uncomfortable as I was expecting it to be based on some of the videos that we had seen. We don't know about the way down. It may be scary. It's definitely going to be crowded. But it is an amazing hike. One of our probably top three that we've ever oh, done. Yeah. It may be at the top of the list. It's just stunning views up here. And we're excited that we were able to take this uh, hike today. We're glad that you guys have tagged along with us. As always, we enjoy your company. <laughs> now we're going to take just a quick break and head back down. We'll see you on the way back down. Share some more sights as we travel back to the trailhead. Let's go. Let's go. This is Walter's Wiggles behind us, and it is a series of, some say 10 switchbacks, some say 21 switchbacks. We're not half sure, we lost count at like 195, <laughs> but we made it to the top and are headed back down now.
We're almost back to the trailhead. It has been an amazing trip. We think we found the real life inspiration for Pandora in Avatar. So guys, if you're planning to come to Zion National Park and hike Angel's Landing, there's no permit required right now. We're here in early November of 2021, but they do plan on requiring permits to hike this trail in 2022. Uh, I think there's gonna be a lottery system that you'll have to register for, get your name drawn um, to be able to get those permits moving forward. Yeah, they're doing that because of the crowds, the number of people who want to hike it. We're While we're here, it hasn't been uh, busy, too busy at all. We've come really early in the morning, so we haven't had to deal with too many crowds. Good morning, it's day two of our trip to Zion National Park, and today our mission is to hike the Narrows. We're inviting you to join us. Yeah, this is a, a unique adventure for us. For most of the day, we're gonna be in the water. Um, the air temp is in the 40s right now. It's uh, water temp is in the 50s. It is quite chilly. So we rented some gear from uh, Zion Outfitters in Springdale. We have canyoneering boots, which will help us over the slick rocks as we're navigating through the water. We've got some neoprene socks on each uh, that will keep our feet warm. We've got um, waterproof pants, which make us look a little bit like Steve Urkel, but that's okay. It is what it is. Uh, we've got a waterproof backpack, which will keep our gear from getting wet. And then we've got some hiking poles that are going to help us navigate over this particular kind of watery, rocky terrain. Uh, we're excited uh, for this new adventure for us anyway. We're glad you guys are going to join us for it. Let's go. Let's go. We got an early start again today. There are only about 120 parking spaces, uh, free parking spaces in the park. So we wanted to make sure we got here early and got one of those. Yeah, if you don't get one of those parking spots at the visitor center, then you have to take the Springdale City Shuttle into the National Park where they drop you off and then you get on their shuttle, which goes to the trailhead parking lots for the various spots that you want to see in the park. So we did get here quite early. Uh, Paula doesn't mind that. I'm a little bit, little bit more reluctant, but certainly we wanted to get one of those parking spots. And we also wanted to beat a lot of the crowd before it gets so busy. Um, we got to the parking lot at the visitor center about 6.15 each morning. Uh, the first shuttle was at seven o'clock and both mornings uh, we've been here in Zion, we have been able to get on the first shuttle and be among the first visitors into the park, which has been a big win for us. It is super swift through here. Probably, but... <laughs> Thank you. 
Most of our hiking has been uh, in ankle deep water and sometimes even waist deep. We had to tuck our jackets and things into our pants so that our. Very stylish. Yeah, it was very stylish. <laughs> uh, so that we, they wouldn't get wet. But now it looks like this is our turnaround point because this looks to be chest deep. Yeah, chest deep is, is, is my limit. I don't, I don't do head deep and anything like that. We don't want this to turn into a swim today, right? Well, guys, we have had just an incredible time here at Zion National Park, haven't we? We have. Whether it was today walking through the river or yesterday <laughs> at the top of Angel's Landing, the views, the things we could see were just spectacular. It's just been crazy. I mean, I've got to go ahead and say, on the record, Angel's Landing is my favorite hike that we've ever done. We've been hiking for 27 years now. Uh, and it was just incredible. And then today, the the Narrows has got to be the most unique hike sure. that we've that we've ever um, encountered before. So just a really awesome one-two punch here in Zion National Park. And we're, we're I guess a little kind of sad that that this is almost the end of our trip, isn't it? Right. We only have one more park to do. Yeah. The next time you guys see us on camera, we'll be at our final park of utah's mighty five and that's going to be bryce and so we're excited about seeing you there um as we kind of wrap this up here our time our mission the last couple of days was to to hike angels landing and in the narrows today and take you guys along with us but we wanted to just share with you that our greater mission in life is to share the hope and happiness that we have um, in God with other people. And so we're about to introduce you to three people that we met uh, several times, as it turns out, on this trip and how our faith and, and what we were able to share with them has already been able to make some changes for the good in their lives. But that's it for us on this mission. What's your mission? So we have seen these guys at every <laughs> every <laughs> national park we've been to so far we might be on the same trip right literally this is like the fourth one in a row that we've seen these Holy. guys at what's your names mike shavowski from chicago martha monco from chicago and monica from, from chicago, chicago. From chicago. <laughs> i mean we have seen these guys at every park it is pretty wild i think it's a sign that that if you saw you guys I said hours, yesterday, if I run into you guys, I'm going to church again. <laughs> and how fitting, if I run into you guys on Angel's Landing. Oh yeah, I'm good. So that's standard. Oh, it's on, it's full, oh, never mind. <laughs> 